<laughs> Hi, my name is Hannah Fraser, and I'm 18 years old. I'm Chloe, and I'm 17. I'm Ricky, and I'm about to turn 16. And we are the three youngest kids of oh. Rick Fraser. I know recently you guys have seen a video um, of our oldest sister, Katie, talking about her dad and all these awful things that he's done. And we just wanted to make a video saying that we are safe and that all those things are lies. And she made a video a couple years ago saying these exact same things, all these allegations. And we had to meet with CPS and talk to them. And, and there was nothing wrong. CPS could find that nothing ever happened to us. And we explained everything um, through our childhood and, and abuse that was reported. And there there was no abuse to even report. And so we just wanted to say that no one has to be worried. We are in a very safe household. We love we have such a great family unit and we just have such a loving and, and carefree and a joy filled environment here. And we just wanted to say that there's no our dad has never abused us. He's never harmed us. He is one of the most loving people um that we know and he's been a great great dad for us yeah our dad is such an amazing single dad i talk about it all the time all my friends know him and oh, yeah, about yeah. a month ago katie came home and my dad welcomed her with open arms she didn't even question anything yeah. he never brought up her past or anything he welcomed her and he just like provided her with everything she needed yeah mm. despite um you know, her saying all these awful things about him, he still welcomed her and with open arms, just like God calls us to do, to just love despite, you know, what they've done and to just give grace like God calls us to. And that's exactly what he did. He gave her clothes and he gave her the medicine that she needed with her autoimmune disease and started looking at school, getting her excited about going back. Even helped pay for her to get some of her grades back. Yeah, and helped paid, And he just provided everything that she could possibly need. And, and we grew so close to her and we got so excited that she was home and finally back and because we hadn't seen her in two and a half years she hasn't been a part of our lives and so it was really good to have her back and we welcomed her with open arms and then she leaves and she sends these videos again slandering us and saying these awful things and it just is destroying this great family unit that we have and really um just ruining a, a reputation that we have as a good godly family that's respected by our church and respected by our school so. yeah and i mean one thing that she had said in those videos is how we're not allowed to leave or like we don't want to like we honestly don't want to be a part of that cult like obviously we love our mom we love our sister but if they're associated with that cult in any way we don't want to leave even if we would turn 18 hannah right here she's yeah. 18 that's she why I'm, I'm 18 and I, I could legally go live with my mom and I love my mom and my sister, but I want nothing to do with the cult that they're a part of. They, it tears families apart. Again, we haven't seen our mom in three years this yeah, November. Or, yeah, no, it'll be three years this November and then yeah. before we just, Katie was home for a month, we hadn't seen her for two and a half years. And they just got up and left. And the person that stayed and is still has provided for us is our dad. He's never left. He's, he's still skipped a beat. He's yeah. always there. He's always helping always. us. He's always loving on us. Yeah, he'll come home from a super long day at work and he'll come and he'll start cleaning, you know. Cooking and we dinner. Yeah, cooking yeah, cook dinner, dinner, driving us everywhere. We always have dinner when we get home from school, even though he's been working all day. He comes straight home, right, knows right before yeah. we get home, cook us dinner. And I mean, like, even whenever I turn 18... Obviously, I want to see my mom, yeah. but if they're still, I, I'm hoping they're not still associated with that cult when I turn 18, but if they are, I don't know when I'll see my mom next until yeah. she really gets out. And, or again, my sister. we just, we love them both, and we love Katie, and we know that, we know that deep down she really does love her father, and I know that she's concerned because she really believes these lies, we're here to tell you that they're not true, that we have a safe and loving environment, and we love our dad, and he loves us, and we just have so much fun together, and we're just a really good family unit, and we just wish that... This um, could stop. Yeah, that this could stop, yeah. because this is the second time, and, and now the authorities are being called, and... It's hurting and it, us. It's hurting us, and it's hurting our friends, because they're like, oh my gosh, what's going on, you know, and it's just... It's causing all this chaos, and it's all lies, and we just... We really need them to stop and 
stop giving her attention. Yeah, and just yeah. focus I, on the truth. Yeah, I think um, yeah, just know, just pray about it, and just know that um, God knows the whole truth, and you know He'll judge. Um, and we are okay. Yeah, that we're we fine. Like we, oh my gosh, we love it. We live on the lake, and we just have a blast. And our dad has done nothing but been supportive, and just love us through and through. So. Thank you guys for listening, and um, I just hope that all this negativity will stop, and that we can, can just get spread throughout. Yeah, we can just spread positive, positive that we love, and our dad loves us, and we're a part of a loving family, and that we love Katie, and we love him, and we just know that she's just being fed lies, and that they're just not true. So just keep loving and keep praying, um, and we know that God has the victory, and He knows the end. So thank you guys. Amen.